This article contains affiliate links, we may receive a commission on any sales we generate from it. Learn more Piers Morgan, 57, spoke out to shame Meghan Markle, 40, after it emerged that the two children she shares with Prince Harry, Archie, and Lilibet, will now become his and her royal highness. The broadcaster spoke out to remind the world that she had claimed on her interview with Oprah Winfrey that her children had been barred from receiving royal titles, although his frank commentary was blasted by some as crass and insensitive. Reminder, Princess Pinocchio told the world on Oprah that her son was barred from being a prince because of his skin color, Beers exclaimed to his almost 8 million followers. However at Dave 43 a law then hit back with his own retort, swiping, reminder, her husband has just lost his grandmother, today is a day to shove the one-dimensional view you hold somewhere the sun don't shine. Archie and Lilibet were not immediately entitled to royal titles, due to their relatively distant status as the Queen's great-grandchildren. However King Charles III has been crowned following her death, and Meghan's children will both now be granted royal highness titles and be prince and princess. This is due to rules set out by George V in 1917, declaring that the grandchildren of an existing monarch have the right to titles. Yet Meghan claimed during her Oprah Winfrey interview that it was racism preventing them from gaining regal status. She claimed that an unnamed mystery member of the royal family had concerns and conversations about how dark his skin might be when he was born, something which was then relayed to her by Harry. Meghan then added that conversations took place while she was pregnant with son Archie about possibly changing the convention when Charles reached the throne, so that she was no longer entitled. She continued that her concern had not been the title itself, but her family's right to receive police protection as public figures in the spotlight. Harry and Meghan also astonished the world when they cast aside tradition and opted not to name first child Archie with any name used in the royal family previously. Bookies had been expecting more conventional name choices, with a nod to royal predecessors, to be in the running, with high odds on the likes of Arthur, Edward, and Philip. However Archie and middle name Harrison have not appeared as royal names on any date between 1066 and the arrival of Meghan's son. Buckingham Palace then announced at the time of Archie's 2019 birth that the couple had declined to use any royal title for him. Dot yet Meghan told Oprah that it hadn't been their choice, insisting, it's not our decision to make. She and Harry then renounced their Royal Highness titles the following year when they officially left the firm to live in California and become financially independent. Meghan's podcast Archetypes sailed to the top of the charts as millions tuned in to find out her views on feminism and female ambition. However, following Queen Elizabeth II's tragic death at Balmoral yesterday aged 96, Piers made it clear that he doesn't regard comments about Meghan and Harry as off-limits for him. Although Piers yesterday said he had been in tears over the Queen's death, his decision to post about the royal titles divided fans, with many calling him out for being inappropriate. At Michael 92716169 reprimanded him with the words, This is not the time. I had respect for your comments about the Queen yesterday, but that's gone now. You are pathetic in every possible way. At Charles Morgan 13 concurred, adding, thought your coverage yesterday was extremely heartfelt and poignant but even at this moment in time you just can't keep quiet on this and can't resist having a dig. At Ali Hook Evans chimed in to say, this is what you come up with on the week of the anniversary of Diana's death and the death of the Queen? His mother and grandmother, great-grandmother to his children. You have no shame.
however at Jackie underscore Clouston, on the other hand, seemed to agree with Pierre's condemnation of Meghan, exclaiming, please tell me now that Meg will have to curtsy every time she sees Kate. Icing on the cake that, 